Hi, I'm Dr. Kami Haas, CEO of the Super Dennis and Howard Healthcare Academy. And I'm here to talk about the surprising link between oral health and COVID-19. A recent study published in the Journal of Clinical Periodontology suggests that patients with gum disease are nine times more likely to die from COVID-19. That's right, nine times. They also found that people with gum disease are at least three times more likely to be admitted to the ICU and four and a half times more likely to require a ventilator. What's so worrisome is that according to the CDC, 70% of people aged 65 and over already have gum disease. Now these numbers are astounding and downright scary, but they're not surprising to those of us in the dental profession. In fact, this latest study further confirms the findings of previous research that showed poor oral health can significantly increase the risk of potentially life-threatening COVID-19 complications. You see, your mouth is the gateway to your body, and in many ways, it determines the health of the entire ecosystem. But unfortunately, because of the separation of dentistry and medicine and how we practice healthcare in our country, some people think the mouth and the body uh, of completely separate entities and they treat them like they're not even connected. But poor oral health impacts our overall health from pregnancy and timing of birth to many systemic health issues and even longevity. And now we know it can be a significant risk factor for COVID-19 complications. How? Well, let me explain. When you don't take good care of your mouth, you're likely to experience bleeding, swollen gums, Bleeding gums are a symptom of gum disease, which means the mouth is infected with oral microbes. Now, these microbes can be aspirated into lungs and cause an infection, or get into the bloodstream through bleeding gums and travel to different parts of the body, or they can cause inflammation in the body. In this latest study, inflammation seemed to explain the raised COVID-19 complication rates. So what do you do to improve your oral health and decrease your risks? Well, number one, go to the dentist for your routine checkups. According to a national survey, approximately 20% of adults and 40% of children haven't seen their dentist during the pandemic, and they've decided to wait it out. I wanna assure you that dental offices are extremely safe because dentists are infection control experts. In fact, since mid-May, when dental offices reopened across the country, the safety record has been remarkable. Number two, take care of your mouth at home. Yes, that means brushing and flossing daily and using other effective oral care products, but it also means watching what you eat and drink and how frequently you do that. Every time you eat or drink, the pH of your saliva drops and becomes acidic, which favors the bad microbes that can cause cavities and gum disease. For more information about the surprising link between oral health and COVID-19 and more tips on oral health, you can visit my website at drkamihaas.com and download our complimentary ebook. As we all optimistically look ahead to the end of the pandemic, continue to take care of yourself and take care of your mouth like your life depends on it.